If you haven't gotten your stimulus money yet, keep your eyes open because millions of people are now getting a prepaid debit card instead of a check and people are overlooking them. Channel 11's Mike Holden is live this morning in Pittsburgh and Mike, we've been getting questions even this morning on social media. They keep throwing these things away because they think it's junk mail. Catherine, it is truly an honest and easy mistake. They see it lumped in there with the extra ads, the bills. They're not entirely sure what this blank white envelope is, but IRS officials are pointing out that this is 100% legitimate. There is a debit card inside of there, and you should take this very seriously because it is actually cash. Now, here's what we know this morning. I know a lot of you guys still have questions, and a lot of folks are still wondering, where is my stimulus check? Well, don't worry, because roughly 4 million Americans are now receiving receiving their stimulus payment as prepaid debit cards. Most of us have already gotten it as a paper check or perhaps went the direct deposit option. The U.S. Treasury Department and IRS started sending out this Visa card version last week. Experts are stressing this is not a scam. The Visa cards come from Metabank and the plain white envelopes are from Money Network Cardholder Services. Both names may not sound totally familiar to most people, but the one is actually the Treasury's financial agent. Folks have reported the Visa cards do not have any sort of federal logo on them, so they look at it, they cut it up, and they think it's a scam. But the IRS is pointing out again this morning, this is legitimate, this is the new option in place. Now we're going to continue to follow up with the IRS. I've already asked them, why did they make the switch? And on top of that too, what are you supposed to do if you accidentally threw that card in the garbage? I'm working to get answers from them, also trying to check in with the Better Business Bureau, and I'll update you in new reports for Channel 11 News at noon and 5 o'clock tonight. Reporting live this morning from the North Shore, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News.